Give me a lot of money to Kazani Khanya, Lele Sadie, greetings over the diaspora. For those that do not speak the languages that we speak, welcome back to Boto Koko Gang, Bakosi Gang, Grand Conscious, Wake and Bake Gang, Stoners United, Chakra Hands, Tarot Card Readers, Healers in your different fraternities and your labels and everything, the non-labels. Welcome everybody, Woke Gang, Anti-Woke Gang, the Grand Conscious, Black Grand Conscious. Welcome back everybody to another episode for my returning subscribers. Galoha so, so much. Thank you so much for still, you know, having that energy to see a this woman right here and for those who are new here please yeah feel at home yeah we are operating in love and light uh, if you have something not nice to say you can say it um but yes also leave room for a retaliation in terms of that uh but yeah if you have questions if you want to educate us you want to correct us more than welcome to do so but please do like please do subscribe please do share if this is content that you resonate with so um i am hitting a call uh, i was chigat because Hey, but Gogo, you're not doing any more new moon, full moon episodes. Yeah, but I thought, yeah, we got the gist in what it is that we need to do, uh, full moon. And I hope the baby Elamco background will not get us uh, muted because copyright and whatnot. And yeah, we give thanks for the morning joint as well. But let us get, we're going to do a quick little one for today. And happy uh, Pride Day for Africa. For those who will be attending in Joburg, please be safe. You know how crazy it can get. Um, those who are in spirit as well, yeah. Happy Pride Day, happy anniversary of a movement that shook everything in 1990. Yes, thank you. I'm Simon Goli. But anyway, back to today's um, episode. So today's um, episode is going to be a quick little one because yeah, Azanka prepare a grand for you, but I just wanted to get the gist of what this full moon is going to be about. So in general, we know that the new moon is about setting new intentions and then the full moon is about releasing and letting go, burning and all of that, right? But with a the theme that I have noticed now, now that we're in the hetero season, which we did say, Jorge, actually, it is governed by the energy of Taurus, right? The boom. And the reason why delay otherwise and it's not actually scorpio as we would know it is because the zodiacs as we receive them are based on how the northern hemisphere would um what's this unpack all these things and explain and yeah to favor them basically you know so now we just came back from a new year we are now second month of the year down here in the southern hemisphere based on the bantu calendar in our own all right so a few things that we want to cover so oh that we want to cover the full moon and <laughs> yeah i yeah i, I saw i saw the comments where yeah, i correct myself wherever ever but i do correct myself wherever ever all right so let us restart again yeah so with this full moon though we are going to be experiencing a partial lunar eclipse all right so remember we did give the the heatings Jorge. yeah how it ready if you are unsure of the energies that you will attract uh the eclipses yeah maybe don't participate but yeah i'm realizing now with time and growth and yeah my third eye going pa, 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 some more hore, that is actually very fear-based you know and with spirits we cannot contain spirit in a way what works for the next will not necessarily work for the other and you knowing how to manipulate energies it can manifest differently for anybody else right so but i'm also because i'm still also recovering from the stupa i am also still a little bit cautious on that you know and i'm working to that so i'm like okay maybe a pasha a pasha shouldn't be that bad but for me this feels very important at this a particular moment right so we're just gonna touch a little bit on the planets that are involved in this period in a yeah full moon in our owner so full moon your owner ilendile today and yeah sorry yeah katse ba ling chikile so i am i am being unchikad yeah and it doesn't the energy doesn't end just today right so you'll feel the energy for like yeah max like five days still after this but yeah i usually govern it kind of three days besides it being my governing number but it's um yeah well my two days from now three days from now five days from now you'll still feel or you still feel and still be able to participate in the energies that this full moon right so a full moon is not the time now where we are starting stuff anew so things that we can consider letting go of got this period yeah runa in a yeah a full moon yeah so you can check or okay what negative self-talk have i have i been engaging in right what negative talk period generally about other people as well because remember it is a reflection of of self right whatever it is that you see and you wanna show laws on somebody else check what it is reflecting away now personally right i like how i do this tautology thing 
na pisa night here <laughs> and then check also be aware of the patterns be aware of and i think patterns has just been my theme in general but i can feel with this energy it is yeah there's certain things that i need to let go of so yeah think just check what behavior what negative self-talk what patterns that you can release now guys this full moon and also because the lunar eclipse there's that intensity as well where it's gonna be assisting you right and yeah so right now i see I see like proper opposition right so right now the opposition that we would see now because now the um, the Taurus energy is now governed by Jupiter and Jupiter is a planet yeah the expansion and abundance and all of that right and it is opposed now by this Scorpio energy sorry yeah actually we didn't need that one there but by the scorpio energy what is which is now residing in mars so that is that battle ailing present right now okay so how how do we decipher now a eh, what it is but everything remember is working towards your good right just as long as you're able now to to align hand the lady energy selling selling prevalent but yeah before that before we that back into that let me uh speak about the planets that are heightened at, at this period at this full moon period in ayarona so we got our mercury remember mercury is in charge of communication we have now mars mars giona the willpower the because it remember here is the red planet and yeah in my past life in my past life when i was heavily involved in personal development i remember like the red color would be that color yeah like the governance, the the people that are we used to call them the red people, and not red, yeah, historically and yeah, how we from the stars and whatnot, not that red, but this would this would be the people, banangli a healthy solar plexus, you know, they are like leaders and whatnot. So the planet Yarunaya Mars is is in that um yeah it 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 is a real power kind of situation, right? So I said Mercury, I said Mars, I said Jupiter, Jupiter, Giona, our expansion. And then we also have our Pluto planet. I can't remember from, yeah, Caucasian education, Concha Pluto, Nelia in. So I do know though that, um, but anyway so pluto is that planet that helps you strip away this ego strips away this facade these masks that this, these are masks these masks that we've been wearing that we've been wearing in order to present ourselves to be more likable to people so i know personally i suffer from a or suffered or healing from um from this people pleasing part of myself you know so how you don't express yourself in certain things how you don't yeah no i don't want to hurt this one with saying such a thing so right now it is a time that is called for us now to release all those uh, destructive things so now this is a time to be serving ourselves to be healing ourselves because this is, this is the energy that's going to be propelling us into the coming months the next month second third fourth fifth sixth so this is the energy that we need to carry especially now with this decisive so with with mars being in opposition with now this expansion thing this is now for you to rise and say oh no this is what i am deciding you know especially in um in 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 in, re in relationships you know whether in friendships whether you need to still be able to speak your truth so your truth though should not be coming from an ego point of view but it should be things now that that are going to be serving you so if you've always been my friends this week called me the sacrificial lamb you know and i think i'm at that point where i am i i am tired and i want to be serving myself Jorge. i am good enough you know i am good enough i i deserve a cutting like, relating with people in in a way that does not compromise me as well you know and i think this is something that i've carried like shadow work and how inner child healing so this is i know this is a consistent project for me personally but this full moon also calls upon everybody from every house from every energy house now to be reflective okay so full moon reflect it's not the time to set new intentions but if you do not set new intentions and are maybe carrying on from intentions or are um, or you didn't set intentions period so this also you can use it as a time now to 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 let go of the things that i spoke about the ego self the um judging of self and 
what i noticed what is so delicious about being um like aligning with with the cosmos and nature and all of that is that so, ha, some things happen organically you know they happen organically without it, you even realizing so i would have so apologies for the ad break there so as i was saying that um with me the past two weeks so have been because i'm consciously aligning with the cosmos i'm consciously aligning with nature you know when i'm hanging a tree i'm going out of nature let them pop on my head my crown chakra or whatever it is that i'm doing but with conversations that i've had with my friends you know somebody maybe i haven't seen in the longest so i've been having very filling and fulfilling conversations but the theme that i gathered around all of that with the conversations that i would have with my friends is how we need to go back into the shadow self you know so a lot of us ibile okay what are these patterns that we keep on repeating you know lay down the ego there and okay these are the messages that i've been receiving you know these are the dreams that i've been receiving and we did speak um when we're introducing our principal yeah the season hore um the, no i didn't speak about the turquoise stone now i'm going to speak about the turquoise stone it's coming but um intuition also heightens remember god the full moon in ayarona so the self -talk. so you need to now sit down with yourself you know pride today or today but come down and sit and reflect you know what is these what are these self talks that i have with myself slow down slow down reflect reflect have those conversations with yourself those conversations that you're scared those things that you're scared to face about yourself have those conversations now whether you're writing it down or writing it down to burn it because remember there's a period for releasing but use this energy if you've been all over the place like myself now if you've been all over the place use the Taurian energy now to ground yourself whether you're going to go hug a tree whether you're going to put your feet on grass or in sand but use natural elements to do that you know right now not i buried my my stones to 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 gather a new to gather this new energy you know as much as go month two year rona now but it's like new year rona so i'm re-energizing and recharging and taking them back to where they're coming from and they get the ground a little on a hurry discover lead the energy selling all over the place you know so this is the theme that we're taking now going forward uh, this full moon in Aruna. so i hope this is sufficient i hope it's simple enough we're not going to go into the nodes and whatnot and not not the astrological um elements to it because it does tend to be confusing especially if you're not in the environment yeah if you're not into astrology not into but if you don't understand what okay ha node a thing or a deacon a thing so 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 i hope this is simple enough and we get the gist of it the theme around it have those conversations with self that you've been running away from have those um grounding um practices that you want to do have the have the affir affirming of self you know this is what i am taking forward this is the decision that i'm making and this is what is going to be carrying me for the next month or two months three months six months or however long you know and don't feel bad i don't know if i said this already don't feel bad if you did not set new intentions gather new moon you can use now this energy to just release you know the things you spoke about the ego self um the people pleasing self the negative and self-destructive patterns and behaviors the patterns patterns so this has been my theme you know besides me needing to go back into hibernation and also my gobs confirmed that also my um my other to yeah i think uh, all my friends told us that. but anyway yeah so so this has been the general theme you know okay patterns patterns i'm receiving messages i'm receiving dreams i'm receiving this that is confirming this you know so it is a time it is a lo partial lunar eclipse so it is a time for ending maybe destructive patterns or ending things that no longer serve you for you now to step into newness you know but if it's something that is um maybe something that is worth it or worthy and it's something that you want to revive and work on that is a time you know to unlearn shift into a new paradigm now okay i've been doing this or you've been doing this um consistently and over and over and over but yeah it doesn't seem to be working what is it that i can tweak what is it that i can fix but not at your detriment remember right now you need to be self-full we are filling ourselves we can't now be pouring into people's cups yeah so yeah my friends so i did listen i did listen 
Eh, I'm not a savior. I'm not a lamb, sacrificial lamb. I'm not that. And yeah, I can't really out here, so I cannot align myself to such things. So I hope that is sufficient enough for us to understand. Bania, I hope you are happy. Miss 063, I hope you are happy. And whoever else wanted a um a full moon thingy. And yeah, I just yeah, let us go spark up for those that are sparking up. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. So yeah, I hope that was simple enough. And happy today, happy priding. Please be safe. Um, yeah, let us spread love. Let us spread um, yeah, goodness all all around. And yeah, I do have opinions about other things that are significant today. But yeah, I think I'll leave those for guys in the concentration camp. Yes, I hope this has been fruitful. Happy today, Ankan Ma'at. Love and light. Fix thyself fix things that do matter to you those that do not matter and do not serve you release use this energy use this heightened energy those were still scared though those are still taking eclipses with pinch of salt also yeah just maybe do like a little light things you know yeah i know yeah we we don't want to be operating from fear anymore we want to be operating from love i can my and happy today mm -hmm.